do get it into the corners on this, like all Miatas, there is some body roll and the engineers have left it in there on purpose. They want you to know exactly what the car is doing. And that's good because you don't really know what the car is doing through the steering. You know what it's doing through the chassis. car and I am so excited because look what I have today it's the 2016 Mazda MX-5 now this is the GT trim line and I have been in the club trim line before so if you haven't seen that video go watch that one come back here because we are going to be comparing those two trim lines so another thing that you get in the club edition that you don't get in here is Bilstein shocks that are tuned just a little bit better for uh, high speed cornering. I mean, this is fine, don't get me wrong, but this is really made, I mean, it's a GT, right? It's a Grand Touring. It's really made more for comfort. And speaking of comfort, what they've done with these seats is quite extraordinary. Uh, they have actually kind of carved out the back of them so that it's your own body weight that is pushing the bolsters around you, which is, it's a, it's awesome way to save weight and it's very, very comfortable. It kind of feels like the seat was made exactly for you and exactly for your body weight. Under the hood, we have a two liter Skyactiv engine which is good for a 155 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque. So the Sky Active engines are able to get better fuel economy because they essentially squeeze, they have a higher compression, they're able to squeeze the air mixture in there and just eke out as much fuel economy as they possibly can. This one is rated 27 in the city and 34 out on the highway. Even with my flogging this thing around through the twisties and going probably way too fast out on the highway, I was still able to get 28.9 miles per gallon. And Mazda has brought their Skyactiv technology not only in the engine, but also in the transmission and in the chassis. So in the transmission, it's a little bit lighter weight. Again, you've got these short throws, very, very precise, and all of that gives you better fuel economy and a better driving experience. Additionally, in the chassis, it's lighter weight and it's more rigid. So again, you're getting a better driving experience and better fuel economy. has much more of a revolution rather than an evolution. Gone is that jelly bean, oops, I kind of threw open my mouth look from the NC, and instead we have a much more sleeker design. The front end is really tucked in, it's got a whole new headlight design, and even in the back, what used to be the oval taillights from the NA through NC now have evolved into this kind of elongated wraparound taillight that is very, very successful and gives the ND its own very, very unique look. Unfortunately, uh, Mazda had to go to a electric power steering setup this year. Uh, they had hydraulic in the NC and it was fantastic. They've gone to electric, um, you know, in, the, in the, the chase of the almighty MPGs. So what that means is it's just not quite, it doesn't give you quite as much feedback. It's not terrible. And in a world where even Porsches have uh, electric power steering, like I get it, I know why they're doing it. But if you're used to driving the hydraulic of the previous generations, it's going to be different for you. that the Miata has had a touch screen. And when I first saw it in pictures, I thought, oh, it's gonna be in my sideline, that's so terrible, blah, blah, blah. Actually, it is not. I had no idea what I was talking about because it's here, I can see it in my peripheral vision, but it doesn't interfere with my sightline at all. 
when I look at my gauge cluster, I've got my tachometer front and center, which is really what you want, because trust me, you're going to be redlining these things until the cows come home. Then I've got my, my speedometer to the right, and then to the left, I've got just some information where I can scroll through with uh, MPGs, uh, range, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're like me, who the heavy right foot, you will appreciate Mazda's navigation system that tells you where any kind of speed camera might be lurking. Uh, it kind of saved my butt a few times, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so thank you Mazda for that. So all I have is my radio controls, my navigation, and then you know some of my uh, settings and my info like uh, gas mileage and things like that. There's nothing in it that is overwhelming, stuff that you don't need. What I love about Mazda is they put in the cars exactly what you need and none of what you don't. So the trunk. You have 4.59 cubic feet of space. Now that's enough for an overnight bag and maybe like a small purse. Um, but what about the trademark laundry basket rating? Yeah, it doesn't really look so good for Mazda. Um, yeah, trademark laundry basket rating of zero. Boo, 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 game over. So the limited amount of space in this cabin is utilized very, very well. They've kind of carved out the doors here so that you've you've got more space, more width this way. And uh, I tend to drive on long distances with my knee up like this, and I've got plenty of room between the door and the steering wheel. Of course, there's not a lot of storage. They've given you a little space right here, a little space between the armrest, and then you have a little lockable box back here, but that's it. There's no glove box, nothing like that. I would like to talk a little bit about the cup holders. Now, I understand this is a pure driving car, right? But look, the top's down, the sun is out, you might need a drink of water. So I've got two options. I can put it right here and use the force, or I can put it right back here and use the yoga. Redlines at about 6,500 RPM, and it lets you go right above it. I mean, it's just fantastic, absolutely. Now, I've got this six-speed manual transmission in this car. Short throw, perfect, just perfect. Just, I mean, I gotta say it, y'all. It's like great sex. It just slides right into gear. It's so good. The soft top in the 2016 is manually operated, and frankly, I couldn't be happier. Number one, it saves rate, weight. Number two, you know it's not gonna break. So what's great is that I can now operate this from the seat. Previous generations, you actually had to get out of the car. Now, it's on a little uh, hydraulic spring, and it just flips forward really easily, and it's very lightweight and very easy to use. Mm -hmm. Mazda MX-5 comes in at just over $30,000 for our GT model here. Now, you can get the club for just about $28,000, and that's really the one that you want to get if you're an enthusiast. My money's on the club. I'm not saying that this one's bad. I'm just saying that the club is even better. Now, you know, we all start with a 10. I ding it down to a 9 because of that electric power steering. I get it. Even Porsche has electric power steering now. I understand Mazda, but I still got to give you a point down because it's just not as good as the previous setups in previous generations. But still that gives it a nine, which makes it a very enthusiastic buy it on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it. Now the real question y'all might be having is, would I buy this car over my 2004 Mazda Speed Miata? It's really tough. This one's more comfortable, it gets better gas mileage, but mine's got a turbo and hydraulic power steering. So I think I keep my Mazda Speed. But that's all we have time for today. That's it for a TFL car. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Emmy Hall. Hey, round of applause. You can see TFL car on all the social medias and tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. Bye. You know, 
I've never really claimed to be a mechanic. Most of the time working on my car is just kind of plug and play stuff, right? But it seems to me that if Mazda takes this battery and moves it back to the trunk like they have done in the previous generations, there'd be plenty of room for a turbo in here, right? And the Mazda speed, am I right? Tweet to Mazda and let them know you want that Mazda speed. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button to subscribe to TFL Car for more news, views, and real world reviews. So maybe instead of a trademark laundry basket rating, it gets a trademark Emmy butt rating of one. I mean, I can get my butt in here, so that's good, right? I'm never gonna get my butt out, but I got my butt in.